Are you new to the canvas and worried how you're going to be learning canvas? In this video, we will try to make canvas protocol easy to understand for you by using day to day life example. Have you ever wondered how various components in a vehicle communicate with each other? Well, that's where canvas comes into the play. CAN, which stands for controller area network, is a robust and reliable network protocol used extensively in the automotive industry. Imagine your car as a system of interconnected components such as engine control unit, transmission, ABS, airbags and more. In the past, these components relied on separate wiring, resulting in the wiring nightmare. But with the CAN bus, all these components communicate effectively over a single network. Now let's go ahead and understand the CAN bus using a very simple day-to-day -day life example. Imagine a brainstorming session meeting in your company where you have a different team members and they are talking to each other to find a solution. Each member in the meeting have its own unique name. When someone talks, everybody can hear the message. If speaker addresses someone, he would use his name and the person with the name would take that message and the rest of the people would discard if that message is not for everyone else. But in this scenario, everybody can hear the message. Now let's understand the same concept in a CAN bus scenario. CAN bus follows a peer-to-peer -peer communication model where all connected components are equal. They can send or receive the messages. Instead of a traditional master-slave setup, the CAN bus uses a broadcast method. Same in the meeting when you're talking, everybody is listening. When a component wants to send a message, it assembles the data into a frame and include identifier. If you relate it with the example, Identifier is a name in that meeting. Everybody have its own unique name, right? So Identifier is a unique ID associated with each node on a CAN network. Identifier acts as a unique address for the message. Other components on a network can determine if the message is relevant to them based on this identifier. Each message frame consists of identifier, control bits, data bits, and error detection bits. The control bits helps manage the priority of messages ensuring critical information is delivered promptly. Data bits carry the actual information being transmitted. This is the beauty of CAN bus. It enables seamless communication between components like engine control units, sensors, and even your car's dashboard. This means when you're seeing a warning light on your car dashboard, it's because of a relevant component sent a message via CAN bus to inform you about a specific issue in the car. The CAN bus consists of several components that work together to enable the communication between various devices or components in the network. These components include nodes, CAN bus, CAN transceiver, CAN controller, message frame, termination resistors, and diagnostic and configuration tools. Node refers to the devices or the components connected on a CAN network, such as ECU or electronic control unit, sensors, actuators, and displays. To understand what is ECU, let's use the same example of a group meeting. In brainstorming group meeting where we have different individuals with specialized skills come together to accomplish a common goal. In this meeting, each person represents a specific ECU in a vehicle or car system. ECU is a device that controls and manages particular functions or systems within the vehicle. Examples of ECUs include engine control unit, transmission control unit, airbag control unit, and many more. Now let's relate it to the group meetings analogy. In the meeting, each person has a specific expertise in a specific area. Just like that, each ECU is designed to handle a particular function in a vehicle. When we talk about airbag control unit, which, which is one of the ECU in a vehicle, the responsibility of airbag control unit is to monitor the vehicle airbag system. It keeps the track of various sensors and, and triggers the airbags in the case of accident to protect the driver or passengers in the vehicle. Same like that, we have anti-lock braking systems, which is called ABS. One of the another example of ECU. The role of ABS is crucial for safe braking of a car. Each node on a CAN network can both send and receive message. If you imagine a group meeting, everybody can talk. CAN bus is a physical communication channel that connects the node with the network. It comprises of two communication lines. 
can high and can low. These lines carry the electrical signals representing the data being transmitted between the nodes. The CAN transceivers serve as an interface between CAN bus and nodes internal electronics. It converts the digital signal from the node into electrical signal for transmission on a CAN bus and vice versa. The transceiver also provides signal conditioning and protection against electrical noise and the CAN controller is responsible for managing communication process on the network. It handles the tasks such as message assembly, error detection and error handling. The controller ensures the messages are transmitted and received correctly and manage the overall flow of a data on the network. A message frame represents a unit of data being transmitted over a CAN network. Termination registers are placed at the both ends of a CAN bus to match impetus of the bus and minimize signal reflections. These registers ensure the stability and integrity of electrical signals on the bus by preventing signal distortion and improving signal quality. Diagnostic and configuration tools are used to monitor, analyze, and configure the CAN network. These tools can detect faults, monitor message traffic, check signal integrity, and reprogram ECUs and nodes within the network. There are two important considerations for the CAN bus. Number one is ID allocation. Message IDs must be unique on a single CAN bus. Otherwise, two nodes would continue transmitting beyond the end of arbitration field ID, causing an error. Another very important consideration is bit timing. All nodes on the CAN network must operate at the same nominal bit rate. Understand the importance of a CAN bus. It's important to understand what are the application, where exactly the CAN bus is used in industry. CAN bus is used in passenger vehicles, truck, and buses. CAN bus is also used in agricultural equipment, electronic equipment for aviation and navigation. It is also used in industrial automation and mechanical control. The CAN bus is used in the defense sector as well. If we talk about the elevator and escalators, they also use CAN bus. CAN bus is also used in building automation, medical instruments and equipments. CAN bus is also used in ships and 3D printers and lighting control systems as well. Let's talk about top 5 benefits of CAN bus. When we talk about the first benefit, it is simple and low cost. ECU communicate with single CAN system instead of via direct complex analog signal lines, reducing errors, weight, wiring, and cost. Second benefit associated with the CAN bus is easy access. The CAN bus provides one point of entry to communicate with all network ECUs, enabling central diagnostics, data logging, and configuration. Another benefit CAN bus have is extremely robust. The system is robust towards electronic disturbances and electromagnetic interference, ideal for safety critical applications. The CAN bus is also efficient. CAN frames are prioritized by ID so that the top priority data gets immediate bus access. Without causing interruption of other frames, CAN is available in several performance versions including LS CAN, HS CAN and CAN XL. What are these actually? We will talk in a separate video. CAN bus operate at the data rates of up to 1 megabits per second for cable lengths less than 40 meters. If the cable length increases, the data rate typically falls to 125 kilobits per second for 500 meters. The data signal is normally transmitted on twisted pair of the wires shielded or unshielded but single wire and ground optical fiber can also be used there is no theoretical limit to the number of the terminals that can be connected to the bus but is normally limited to 32 to avoid data delay data encoding is nrz with bit stuffing in short the can bus is a vehicle bus standard design to allow microcontrollers and devices to communicate which either there is application without a host computer. If more than one device transmit at the same time, the highest priority device can continue while other back off. With that, we would conclude today's video. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. 
on the next video. Take care and bye-bye.